waste produced due to disposable mask and glove. Earlier these masks were used in very less amount and mostly by the doctors but due to this pandemic people started using these masks and gloves. These were produced in large amount for the people for daily use. As lockdowns took effect to slow down the spread of coronavirus disease 2019, COVID-19, the global demand for petroleum collapsed. As a result, oil prices plummeted, making the manufacture of virgin plastics from fossil fuels less expensive than recycling. This cost incentive, along with lifestyle changes that increase plastic use, has complicated the challenge of overcoming plastic pollution. During the pandemic, personal protective equipment PPE, has driven increased plastic pollution. In response to high PPE demand among the general public, healthcare workers, and service workers, single-use face mask production in China soared to 116 million per day in February, about 12 times the usual quantity. The World Health Organization has requested a 40% escalation of disposable PPE production. If the global population adheres to a standard of one disposable face mask the day after lockdowns end, the pandemic could result in a monthly global consumption and waste of 129 billion face masks and 65 billion gloves. Hospitals in Wuhan, the center of the COVID-19 outbreak, produced more than 240 tons of single-use plastic-based medical waste, such as disposable face masks, gloves, and gowns. But day at the peak of the pandemic, six times more than the daily average before the pandemic occurred. If the increases observed in Wuhan hold true elsewhere, the United States could generate an entire year's worth of medical waste in two months. People have found out a way to recycle these wastes also which can be then used for our daily use. The first person to find out this is a French person Oliver Civil, co-founder of Plastel. Last week an Indian Benish Desai found out a way to convert these wastes into a brick. 